Venezuelan women protesting what they describe as excessive use of force by riot police in almost daily anti-government demonstrations, led by the wife of imprisoned opposition leader Leopoldo Lopez. We want to go to the Interior Ministry to tell Minister Riverol and all the authorities to stop shooting, to stop killing, to stop repressing the people. This drawing represents the staircases in our international airport. It used to be cheerful. Now it's a place where we leave our tears as we see our loved ones flee our country in droves. Not to be outdone, the ruling Socialist Party summoned its own women supporters out to march, just a few kilometers away. The dynamic is this. The opposition tries to move from the mainly middle-class eastern suburbs and cross over to the west, which has traditionally been controlled by supporters of the government, which vows that they shall not pass. And there is little doubt that these women will be stopped. The question is, how soon? Opponents are becoming more bold by the day. In the state of Sulia, these men did what would have been unthinkable just weeks ago, destroying a statue of deceased President Hugo Chavez, the father of Venezuela's self-styled Bolivarian revolution. Back in Caracas, a demonstrator shows us she comes prepared, with goggles and bicarbonate of soda to counter the tear gas. But for the first time in five weeks of daily protests, it wasn't necessary. The march ended peacefully, where riot police had set up an impenetrable wall. And even more extraordinary, a smiling bride on her way to be married, making her way through the almost impenetrable crowd, demonstrating in her own way that even here, life goes on. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Caracas.